You, you can't be an earshot and not know who Charles Haley is because, you know, he, he's going to let the world know. But uh, we've had quite the amazing week here. And it's only been two days, but it's, it's felt like a week with Charles. So, um, yeah, yeah I, I've known Charles uh, quite a while. And, you know, um, you know, he came in the league uh, a couple years before I did, I believe. So, um, uh, you know, I think from that standpoint, you know, to have a 49 in the Raider going in is always a great thing. And, you know, I think he did a very smart thing by having DeBartolo uh, uh, introduce him, being that we, the Super Bowl is going to be there this year. Um, so, no, it's uh, it's been a pleasure, man. I mean, he's a little little different guy, you know. But at the same time, when you put them pads on, man, and you say, hut, hut, he's a guy you want to have lining line up by you. The ball thing wouldn't have been a problem, you know. And his, that was his concern, not my concern. I knew if I went to play with Michael Irvin, I wouldn't go get too many balls. Uh, but I just wanted to go home and play with the Cowboys at that time. So uh, just to be at home and play in front of my parents. Uh, so, you know, it wouldn't have been a problem with me. I, I would have given up this great career, I guess, you know. I mean, I was willing to do that because it was something that I was really set on doing because I thought the Raiders were ready to move on with me. And um, so leaving was something that was an option at that time. Tim, did you ever get to